and welcome to the Lee Anthony Davis Show on Thursday the 12th of November. Good evening, as they say, or shall I say, uh, slightly past the midnight hour, but never mind. The show is definitely recorded on the other side of midnight, so it's before midnight. By the time you watch this, it won't be. It will be after midnight. So anyway, it's still Thursday the 12th of November. Right, I've got a few things to announce, uh, a double celebration, I'll tell you about that in a minute. Uh, firstly, we we'll start off as we usually do with the members and birthday announcements. Right, so this is quite a long list, so uh, I'm going to get on with it right away. Uh, starting off with Deborah Santos, of, who's joined the horror group. Uh, Phoenix, old Phoenix Dwyer has joined the horror group. Decker Garrett has joined the official Doctor Who group. John... Lepertube has joined the official Dot2 group along with Tata Gomez, Sam Garden, Jane Carlton, Jennifer Hirschkorn, David Jennison, Peter Br Briley. Uh, one for the horror group, uh, two for the horror group actually, Darmendra Khan Khan, Jacob McCollum. Joining the uh, science fiction group, Nick Green. Uh, one for the sitcom group, Paul N. Tipton. Uh, a Doctor Who classic one there, uh, Samantha. Oh, sorry, si uh, uh, Amanda, Amanda Sharon. Uh, three for the Blake Seven group, uh, Simon Cockroft. Telmar Gaines and Ian Ballinger have joined the Blake 7 group. Uh, quite a few for the entertainment group. Uh, here we go. David Rand, Yvette Savannah, Telmuth Gaines again, J. William Cruz, Heather Irvin, Shane Rice, Andrew Gibbons, Robin L. Shaw, Bill Kent, have, uh, and also Angelica uh, ba uh, Badassery, Mark Montagna Carlos, uh, he's uh, someone that you might know on television in the 60s. Uh, he was in some good shows. Uh, also, uh, Wendy Graham, uh, another great friend of mine. Philip Nichols, uh, who's joined quite a few of my groups. And uh, for the Sarah Jane group, uh, Sarah Jane Adventures group, that is, Cozine Watson has just joined. Uh, there are some more that have joined, but as this list is very long, I want to get on with it. I, uh, I promise I won't list their names out tomorrow. Right, move. So, anyway, I must say this. Thank you very much to one and all. All you great people have joined my uh, groups on Facebook. I really appreciate it because without you, I wouldn't have anything worth talking about. So, anyway, thank you very much. Uh, moving on to the birthday announcements today. It's the birthday of Paul and Magris. Uh, Carl Chen, Ari Gorey, Willie Bulb, Christopher Stahl, and one who's in my group, in the horror group that is, Joshua Hart. So let's wish them all a happy birthday. So moving on to uh, some shout outs here. Uh, I want to plug uh, a new group that's just started on Facebook. It's called the Doctor Who on TV and audio from Big Finish Productions. It's run by someone that's joined a group of mine. He's only just started it. His name's Simon Taylor. And uh, he, he uh, what I've seen of his content, it's fantastic. So it's basically about Big Finish. Yes, there's another Big Finish group just started, and this is it. Uh, the official Doctor Who group will definitely give it a recommendation. It's going on the uh, website as well. And uh, also, uh, I decided to shout it out on here, because I always like to help new groups coming along as well as youtubers that have just started out i always give them a shout out i like to show my support for them uh, so get along to that see what you think it's on facebook it's called the doctor who on tv and audio from big finish productions so give that a look in you know show your support because it's only just started and i think it could be a big group right now when i was talking about a double celebration uh I'm about to mention it here. YouTube, I'm now on 48 subscribers. Uh, and the second part of that double celebration is on my group, the horror group. It's now reached 
498 uh, members. Unbelievable. Fantastic. Uh, I just can't hold my admiration so much for these people who love this stuff and uh, appreciate what I'm trying to do with the group. Uh, it's fantastic and I appreciate it very much. So I hopefully tomorrow I'll be telling you I've done it, 500 members. So, I mean, to me, that's a lot. To, to a big YouTuber or a big, uh, a big member on Facebook, it's nothing. Because I've seen a few of them. But to me, I don't care about them. I only care about my members. and Because uh, I've only just started them up uh, about... Uh, when did I start this one? I started it about six, six... No, tell a lie, two months ago. Two months ago, fantastic, amazing. I started this one back in uh, August, I think, so it's done pretty well. Uh, also, uh, the YouTube uh, subscribers, I, I admittedly, I'm going to tell you the truth, I lost two, uh, but I've gained four, so uh, thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate it very much. Uh, so now I'm on 48. I'm two more off the big one, 50. That was what I set out to do in the first place, to get to 50 subscribers. Uh, when I was started off uh, back in uh, April, I didn't think it was possible to get more than five, you know. But it's gone, it's gone through the roof. So I'd like to thank every one of you for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate it very much. I've tried to do good stuff on it. Uh, I have been doing the quizzes on Twitch so far on the channel, but I might do them back on YouTube, see how it goes. I'm also going to do, in the future, reviews and watch-alongs on here. But not on this device, what I'm using at the moment. This, as you gather, it's a mobile phone. Uh, I'm going to use my proper device, which is a laptop, which does, uh, which I, which I'm connected up to StreamYard, which gives you the, uh, you know, the access to YouTube to do live streams. So anyway, so anyway, moving on. Uh, so thank you once again to one and all who subscribe to my channel, and also thank you very much to all those. In the, I mean that's amazing not 498 uh, I have a feeling it's already reached 500 already but as I speak now you know because uh, I'm just looking at the uh, text there uh, members are wanting to join so it's a, I have a big massive list tomorrow probably anyway so thank you very much to the to the horror group I appreciate it very much and uh, also, Twitter followers has gone up uh, too as well. Uh, someone I know very well, known as Mega Geeks, uh, Ian David, uh, Ian David Diaz, who has his own channel and it's doing pretty well. I've been sort of promoting his stuff on my on my drama group, uh, the Rebecca Gold series, and it's fantastic. It really is quality stuff. Uh, you know, I'm surprised it's not been on television. He really does know how to put things together like that. Fantastic. Uh, and I advise you to go and have a look at it. Even if you don't subscribe to it, his channel is worth looking at at least. So if you do, just at least give it a thumbs up. Fantastic. He's on. Uh, he's not on my group, but I still plug him anyway because he does follow me. Uh, he's followed me on Twitter now. So thank you very much, David. Uh, shall I say Ian? That David's his middle name. Or shall I say Mega Geeks? I'll, I'll say Mega Geeks because it's a lot easier. Uh, Mega Geeks, thank you very much. I appreciate anything that you do for me and uh, I'll do the same for you in return. So thank you very much. Uh, I, I think that's, all, uh, that's it on the, uh, the celebration updates. Uh, now for the group updates. And as you know, I've had a lot of, uh, I've read a big massive list out today uh, of members joining and I'm going to give you the updates on those groups. Starting off with the official Doctor Who group, which has now uh, moved up to 426 members. The horror group, as you know, I've just mentioned, it's up to 498. The sitcom group has increased by two. It's now up to 153 members. The Blake 7 group, I started last week, is now up to an amazing 132 members. The entertainment group, I'm surprised it's done really, really well. It's now hit 80 members, 80 members. And uh, uh, the Sarah Jane uh, Adventures group uh, that was started this week is now on 58 members. Fantastic. Uh, right, now moving on to the top uh, contributors of my official Doctor Who group. Uh, I'll read in, uh, you know, the, uh, the usual order from first to whatever. 
leading the way is last week's winner. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's that Russian lady again with the uh, sort of Russian coded name. Uh, N A uh, capital N. Uh, no, sorry, capital H, small A, capital A, small E, star, capital A, uh, small A, KY3, B, capital M, N turned around, as you know, H-O-B-L, uh, H-O-B-A, <laughs> yeah, no, it's not right, <laughs> no, no, uh, so it's, uh, she's leading with a, an amazing uh, 31 contribution, it looks like she's going to top it again, and she's going to be last week's record and uh, looks like she's gone into the hall of fame for the second time and also she's going to get control of one of my pages because that's the prize uh so uh i think uh the doctor who page will be ideal there's quite a few followers watch that so or people like it so that's part of my free doctor who pages i've got on facebook at the moment but that's the one i'm giving away she's going to get control of that uh, i won't have a say in that of course so I hope that's a good incentive. I'm thinking of doing one for second because this uh, guy that I'm going to read out now, Graham Baird, has been fabulous. He's been giving contributions. The only thing is, he's got other groups as well. So if he was in this group only, I think he'd win it hands down. So anyway, I'm thinking of uh, going to offer him admin uh, as, a, as a sort of consolation prize. Right, he's got 27 contributions. Uh, Sean Ashton's got 19 contributions. He's probably in third. Uh, in fourth place is Rob Jamie Simpson with eight contributions. Uh, fifth place, Alan Edmonds is with seven contributions. And, and uh, six is Jim Kirkwood Jr. who's given two contributions. The rest of them, uh, the, the, the rest of the uh, seven behind them, they're all on one. Uh, so uh, I'll only give them a shout out when they are sort of into the right order like Whoever's seventh, I would read out, but I'm not reading them all out again because I think you know them if you were here last night listening to uh, my show. So anyway, so thank you to one and all, e even the ones. I appreciate everything. Even even if you haven't contributed, uh, by joining my group, you have contributed. So I appreciate that very much. So anyway, there'll be another update on that tomorrow. Uh, what's coming up? Uh, well, on YouTube right now, a guy called Stone Loki is doing his YouTube channel. He does one. It's uh, he does one in the morning. Uh, it's called Loki's Morning uh, Stream, I think it's called. Uh, most of the uh, people that go on Noel's channel and every other channel, they all go on there. You know, uh, you got Chris Price, who's one, who's meant to be known as who's known as the King Moderator. He's he's every group I've seen him on. He's been a moderator, even on the Nerdrotics uh, channel. He's so he seems to be Mr. Big <laughs> when it comes to the spanner. Uh, so he's a great he's a great person. He he always gives me a plug when I go on uh, a show that he's on, and he always and he's very respectful. When you say hello to him, he always says hello back. That's that's the kindness of this guy. So uh, I thought he's worth worth at least uh, sh shouting his name out here, Chris Prizer. Remember that name. And also. Uh, moving on uh, that's what's coming on YouTube right now live uh, there's some shows coming up tomorrow Noel's here tomorrow on his show uh, I'm not too sure what it is but I'll find out before uh, before he goes on air also uh, not forgetting uh, Dave travels through time will be here at 615 tomorrow on his YouTube channel with a continuation of the uh, science fiction quiz stream uh, I have been, obviously, I knew it was going to happen. I ended up getting passed over by Sadako and, and uh, Matthew Pounder. So I'm, I think I'm in third with 66 points. I'll give you an update tomorrow on that, on Heat, on heat 5. Uh, so it's get, getting closer to the end now. I think there's seven eight. So there's still, anything could happen. Even there could be a late runner and he could move off on the railings and uh, pass us all. So anyway, uh, right, we're moving on to another section called the uh, what's uh, the news itself. Uh, I've got some latest news. Well, it's not latest news actually, but it's news that happened today. Uh, starting off with the Chancellor of the Exchequer, Rashi Sunak, uh, uh, despite the lockdown, has admitted that the consumer is spending a lot of money, and it could only help with the economy. So he said. 
Uh, also, Mr. Fixit himself, Dominic Cummins, that's uh, Boris Johnson's right hand man. And if you didn't know, he's been in a row with uh, Boris Johnson. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but uh, his future is in doubt. Oh, that's a bit of a shocker, isn't it? Right, now I'm going to move on to the quiz questions uh, to, round, to round things off tonight in my show. Uh, we'll start off with the one that I gave yesterday. Uh, I wanted to know which actor it was that played the giant robot in the first ever Tom Baker episode called Robot. Uh, and the answer is Michael Kilgarren. He was also he was also in uh, the Tomb of the Cybermen where he played the Cyber Leader. You know that uh, guy that was uh, in the in the freezer when he crouched down and when he opened the door he gets up and he says, "You belong to us." <laughs> you know that sort. Of, that's Michael Kilgarren. He's been in a lot of stuff. So Michael Kilgarren, a brilliant voice actor as well, uh, for radio. So anyway, that's probably why they chose him uh, because of his height and because of his voice. And uh, I'll tell you, he had trouble walking in that robot suit. You know, uh, in in the Tom Baker one because he kept on sort of losing his balance. So the actors that were behind him tried to sort of, you know with that bit where they're walking walking out the door. Of, uh, of of the you know the secret base these people were sort of spouting their poisonous left wing jargon or whatever it was right right wing uh, were, were escorting him out the door but they had to hold him because Michael Kilgarren tripped off a few times and he nearly went over so they had to hold him uh, as he got onto the truck uh, with Sarah Jane in tow uh, so anyway uh, that's Michael Kilgarren who played the rob the giant robot in Robot. Uh, right, now for a new question. Uh, it's a Hammer Horror Quiz question. And it concerns Christopher Lee. Uh, as you know, uh, Christopher Lee didn't do The Brides of Dracula, which was the, meant to be the sequel to The Horror of Dracula, uh, made in 1960. Uh, the, what I want to know is, who was the actor that replaced Christopher Lee uh, to play uh, the... Uh, va the the, well, he wasn't Dracula, he was actually a vampire. One of the disciples of uh, Dracula, you could say. Uh, Meinhof, uh, Baron Meinhof. Uh, sorry, Baron, yeah, Baron Meinster, I think it was. Uh, he played him. I want to know the actor that played the, the part of the vampire. That's the Brides of Dracula. I'll give you the answer tomorrow. So, anyway... That's it for tonight. I hope you've enjoyed uh, the pointless, uh, shall I say, trivia. Uh, but I hope it's uh, kept you uh, sort of less bored than than you would have been uh, before I went on. Uh, so I hope I brought some joy to you. I'll be back tomorrow, probably a little bit earlier, because I'm uh, obviously a moderator on Dave Travel Through Time and his quiz stream that's happening tomorrow at 6.45. I think that's the right time. I'll let you know on Facebook and Twitter. So until then, it's good night from me. And thank you for watching. And bye for now.